So what do you feel about all the controversy about this story? It's centering a lot on whether Britain should allow Russia today to carry on broadcasting here. It's just shocking. I mean, Ofcom, which regulates this program, I know you cheered the, this program Most at the biggest number of complaints. Most complaints about the program with Ofcom. But, uh, you know, RT has fewer breaches than BBC, ITN. And then Ofcom, the regulator, the statutory regulator, comes out with a statement which seems so politicised saying the Prime Minister has said this, then another statement. I mean, this is ripping up the Magna Carta. Are you breaking up. No, of course not. Where are you from? I was born in Cambridge, funnily right. enough. My, <laughs> my father's an expert on Newton. Then. But are you a British citizen? Are you... Yeah, I'm born here, aren't I? I mean, what do you no, mean? No, I'm, I'm just because you work uh, for Russia today. We have but... nearly 100 journalists but... working in a bureau here. Yeah. And let's not forget, RT is the biggest television station on the planet. I mean, it is the biggest, on the biggest network, the internet. Uh, we have the billions of uh, viewers all around the world. But what do you, so, so, what, so what do you say to people then who say that Russia Today is a mouthpiece for uh, the Russian government, uh, funded uh, sort of not necessarily directly, but it's funded you know, by the Russian taxpayer, yeah. by and and therefore the money is sort of uh, under the control we're, of Vladimir Putin, we're under and you're Ofcom a regulation. mouthpiece for the Kremlin. We're under Ofcom regulation. We have fewer breaches than the BBC or ITN. Okay, do you believe it's a Putin shock. did this? Did what? Directed well, this. Do you believe he directed this? Do you? I know that the Prime Minister says the Prime Minister, on this? the Prime Minister says it's highly likely. Well, That's not beyond you, reasonable do do? doubt. I think most people around the world, and Britain's pretty isolated apart from NATO on this, I have to say. The whole of Latin America, Africa, I mean, Beijing, they're not, they're not with Britain on this. So we don't do, know what, what do the White think? House is. Uh, is that Putin would have been mad, wouldn't he, ahead of the World Cup? To possibly at that big stage when Russia wants to look so, so you don't good think across Putin the world. Ordered this I don't know. Attempt. You know, unlike arguably mainstream media, we question more. That's the motto mm. of RT, and uh, we have to question why on earth do you Putin think Putin's ever ordered the assassination? We know. Uh, I don't know. We know Britain yeah, definitely no. orders assassinations. We know Britain orders assassinations. Do you think Putin's ever killed anyone? I mean, what, what does that mean? He's a KGB agent, right. isn't he? So, I mean, what do you think? How do I know? We know that Britain, you don't know Britain, Britain do right now, Britain right now is... You see is my point, though? You work for Russia people. today and you're not prepared to even accept the bleeding the obvious about Peter. So you definitely know he killed someone? Absolutely. Right, fine. I mean, it's up to him to sue for defamation. Right, sue me. Uh, the problem is, the problem is in this but country... My problem is that you're, you're basically, you are just a defender for Putin, aren't you? You just don't well, want to I'm accept he's done anything. Well, because he's like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but anything I'm he's done. I'm questioning your certainty. Mm. You know, and there was a lot of certainty about WMD getting us into a war. As you know very well, you were mm. fired from the mirror over mm -hmm. that war. Uh, Greg Dyke and I was fired from the BBC mm. over it. We know what, when the United House of Commons talks about WMD trying to get Britain into a war, this time with the nuclear power, mm. what do you think the stakes are? Mm. Well, I, I, the stakes are very high. There's no question, especially with, with people in Russia now making... So why are you so certain? Well, I'm certain that, that Vladimir Putin is a pretty bad guy. He's done some pretty bad things. He was a former KGB operative. We know that we've had a number of assassinations on Russian traitors on British soil he and other soil. He himself has said he himself that traitors said they're will kick, the, kick bucket. the bucket. There's a record of him saying it. My point is that where I think you're slightly compromised, if you don't mind me saying, is that, you're, <laughs> is that because you work for Russia today, a state-funded... Uh, organization, you have to be careful what you say about Tell Putin. Tell that to Larry King. No one from the Kremlin tells me what to do. No one ever has. Right. At the BBC, have the I have been. At, have G a... at this, at GMTV, I was told what to do. Right. What are you talking about? This is the only station in this country where you're not told what to do. Right. And that's and yet the you're point. You're not prepared to say that you think Putin's even killed anyone. I don't have the proof that right. you do. You, and I have to say, we had someone from Fairness and Accuracy and Reporting on our show recently, mm -hmm. saying the problem is journalism in this country, let alone the United States, is full of stenographers for power. No, we don't kill you journalists in this country like Russia, though, do we? We don't kill journalists no. in this do country. Do you think ordered the, the assassination you know, of journalists? Well, why don't you cover the assassinations? Do you think uh, yeah, I mean, journalists have been killed in large numbers in Russia? It was who's terrible. Kill, who's killing them? Absolutely appalling Who, who is killing. responsible for that? But how do you know definitely it's Putin? But you don't think he's done anything? He's the, pre he's the president of Russia. Of course, he's running a country where these things are happening. So who's responsible? He should take responsibility for What's he done things? about the killing of these journalists, who were all, coincidentally, anti-Putin? Um, journalists should always be uh, questioning power all the time. No, no, but he... 
It is believed that Vladimir Putin ordered the killing of numerous journalists mm -hmm. who've been hostile to him and his regime, all right. right? Do you think that that's true? But I'm not a court of law. I'm a right. journalist. So you don't think it's true? So unless you give me what did he, absolute What, what did Putin do about this? the deaths of those journalists? Um, I'm sure there were inquiries of a sort. What does Britain do about the assassination of its citizens mm. by British government? What is it doing while it's threatening tens of millions of people in right. Yemen? Uh, the point is, we're not going to put Theresa May in prison for threatening tens of millions mm. of people and putting the red carpet with the Saudis. Okay, chaps. We're not going to put Putin right. in prison okay. for killing journalists. Okay. Chaps. My, my issue states. with this is, I admire you for coming in and, and taking the heat. It's not an easy time to be Russians over there. You're not <laughs> Russian. I, I accept that. But I think the way that you're answering these questions, I'm going to put it to these guys. The problem is, if you work for Russia today and you're state-sponsored by Vladimir Putin's Russia, then you obviously have to be very careful what you say about him. And this is the problem with airing Russia today in this country going forward. If it transpires, as now is believed, Vladimir Putin ordered the assassination of this traitor on British soil. Like, you don't have to be careful. Well, look, 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 <coughs> I wonder, I wonder how, how much Russia Today has devoted to this story and has it aired the allegation on Russia Today that Vladimir Putin is behind the assassination of that former spy? It's leading every hour on that, those allegations. You saw the Overseas Development Secretary, former Overseas Development Secretary Andrew Mitchell, saying he appears on RT precisely mm -hmm. so he can accuse Russia of atrocities in Syria.